Welcome to this lesson on getting started with Google Fusion Tables. In this lesson, we will learn how to download the Google Chrome browser and to create a Google account for those who do not already have one, and how to download data sets to be used in this course. Google Fusion Tables is an interactive web-based interface through Google that matches data into one online data set that can be easily displayed as charts and overlaid on Google Maps. To start, you will need to open your internet web browser. The internet web browser could be Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome. Once I have my web browser open, I will type the following URL, datause.ucsf.edu. Select Enter. Here I am at the UCSF Data Use website. You can select Data Use for Health Toolbox, and then I'll use this right bar to scroll down to the Google Fusion Tables and click. Here I see all materials necessary for these videos. Before starting, I will need to download the Google Chrome Internet Browser and create a Google or Gmail account. If you already have either of these, then you do not need to complete these steps. For those of you who do not have a Chrome internet browser, click here to be directed to the page for downloading. Here I select this blue button, download Chrome, accept the terms, and install. I will see the file loading. Once it is downloaded, I click and choose Run. Once the program has finished downloading, it will open and now I am in my Google Chrome internet browser. So from here, I will return back to the data use website. The next step is to create a Google or Gmail account. Again, if you already have a Gmail account, then you can just open that at this moment. If you do not, click here. Here is where I create my Google account. So I'll need to type my first name, my last name. This will be the username to log into any Google applications and also a Gmail email address. So. I will choose a unique name, which will be my first name and my last name, and the number five. Then I need to create a password. So I'll type that, one that meets these rules, and repeat. I'll enter my birth date. I'll just pick one for the example. And my gender. Scroll to the bottom. I need to type in this word to make to prove I'm not a robot. So I'll type Atlanta, choose my location, and check that I agree to the terms of service. Now I'll check next step. Here I have created a Google account. I'm going to say no thanks, I don't want to create a profile. And then from here, I can select this grid at the upper right where I can open my different applications. So I could open my Gmail, my Google Drive, which we'll cover later. Now let's go again back to the data use website. Here, under the online video tutorials, I see the files that I will need to download. I will click on this first file. It's going to download here. The second file, which will also download. And then this KML mapping file. I click on the file and choose download. So now I see all of these files have been downloaded. By default, 
Chrome downloads your files into the downloads folder on your computer. As a precaution, I recommend you move these files to a better location. Select this arrow, choose show in folder. Here I see the file. I will choose copy and place onto my desktop. Going back into Google Chrome, I will choose the next file, show in folder, choose copy, move to my desktop, again I will paste. And for my last file, we'll choose Show in Folder. We'll right click and copy, move to my desktop, and paste. Now let's look at the format of one of these files. So I will choose this last file, the ANC HIV Prevalence in Pumalanga, and I will open it. In this lesson, we have prepared data for you. When you are using Google Fusion Tables on your own, you may wish to use your own data. To do this, you must model your data after the following format. Row 1 are your column headers. Each column header should contain all components necessary to describe the data. For example, this column header is HIV prevalence among females, all ages, from the ANC 2010. Rows 2 through 4 and above contain all of the data elements or values. Column A should be your geographic indicator, such as province, district, subdistrict, or facility. In this data set, column A are the districts within Mpumalanga province in South Africa. Columns B, C, D, and continuing are the descriptive characteristics or indicators of your data. This concludes this lesson on getting started in Google Fusion Tables. Thank you.